Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. And this is going to be your daily love vibe relationship reading for Thursday, September 26th. Uh, we are coming up on the full moon in Libra. So I'm going to be posting um, the zodiacs between now and Friday. I will make the videos and get them uploaded. So check back on Friday for your zodiac sign to see what energies you will need to be working with or under for um, the next lunar cycle, okay, during this full moon. It's going to be a really huge... It, well, they all are, okay, but this one is exceptionally huge for Twin Flames. So if you guys resonate with the whole Twin Flame uh, soulmate divine counterpart uh, messages, then you're going to want to take a look at the energies that will be around and for you. And, you know, actually, I watched a really good video. If I can find it again, I will link it in the description box below the Zodiacs. Uh, specific for the twin flames and, and um, uh, soulmates. And if that resonates with you, then feel free to watch it. I believe it's called, her name is Kay Moon, but I just love her videos. It's all the astrology and I am not an astrologer, so I will pass that on to you, um, but I won't even attempt to try to explain it to you. <laughs> okay, so this is today's daily love vibe. And if you're new to my channel, Welcome, welcome. I am so grateful to have you here. I'm so grateful for all of my viewers. Um, take a look at all of the links I have below. There's a link if you want a private reading, a link if you want to make a good karma donation. Uh, you can email me if you want me to work with a certain deck. I might already have it. Just put your request in. And if I don't, um, and you would like to donate it to my channel, let me know and I will get you a post office box address for you to ship it out to. Okay, this, I just want to remind everybody, this is for relationships, but it can be any relationship. It can be your mom, your dad, your siblings. It can be your dog. You know, I really don't care. You set your intentions. I personally read for love and romance. So don't be offended if that's the, the view I take of it. Um, but certainly you can use your own discernment to decide how that how this video will um, resonate in your life with your own personal intentions, okay? So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It really does help the algorithms of YouTube to pick up the videos and to get them out there. Don't be afraid to share on your social media. Um, I, I would love to answer any questions or comments that you send me, and we're going to just dive right in. Okay, so I used the, oh, just, to, it's a tarot deck. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I know what it is, but I can't pronounce the name. It begins with an S, like Scarabo or Scaribo, something like that. All right, so I'm going to turn over your first set of four cards, okay? The first The first pile here is for your general overall energy, and it's paired up with the bottom of the deck, okay? So we're going to take a look at the energies. For the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright and the Six of Wands in the upright. This is victory and success. And I just want to remind you that full moons are all about releasing things that that no longer serve you. It's time for you to do a house clearing. It's time to clean your closet, clean out your friends list, go to your Facebook and purge people that are toxic. Anybody that posts things on your walls that that um, are lower vibrational. So you can bring in this Ace of Pentacles with the victory and success because it's there for you. You just got to make sure you got room in your magic bag to put it. Okay. So we have the page of cups. Okay. As a reader, I like to think of this as a Pisces card. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be, but when I see the little fish here, it just makes me think of Pisces. Just like if it was a crab, right? I think it was cancer, etc. But no, it's a fish. 
And for me as a reader, this is a very um, brand new conversation, situation, love offer, uh, apology. It's, it's very rudimentary. It's just the beginning. Okay. And it can also be you receiving messages from spirit that fish in the cup could be spirit talking to you. Okay. We'll make a storyline out of this in just a moment. Let me show you what we've got first. Next up, we have the six of cups. The six, the six of cups is all about, um, it can be a soulmate. It can be a past life connection, past life soulmate. It can be uh, somebody from your past in this life. It's all about feeling nostalgic, remembering the good old days, or it can be the return of somebody from your past that you know you have a soul connection with. Okay, next we have the star in reverse. Okay, this is this for me is a wish card and a healing card. That's the way I look at it. And it is divinely guided because it's a major arcana card. This is the divine showing up in your reading. Okay, so perhaps, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not going to get into the storyline just yet, but uh, being in the reverse to me shows me that there has been a wish made that has not come to fruition. It is not... Um, or a healing, sometimes it's a healing that's happened, you know, in the reverse. It's, it's yeah, we're good. That wish, that healing has, the energy is showing up, okay? I know that's confusing because a lot of people read reversals as negatives. I don't. I look at the energy of the card, okay? Next up, we have Cancer showing up in your reading in the reverse, okay? This is the chariot card. The chariot is all about... Uh, victor, victoriously moving forward. And sometimes it's very fast energy. Um, but first you got to get those sphinxes, if I can pronounce it, up on their feet. Because in this deck they are literally resting on their laurels, right? They're not moving. They're not going anywhere. And they're looking rather stubborn. Just saying. <laughs> so this is masculine and feminine energies, these sphinxes. They represent the yin and the yang, the balance, the duality of life, right? But look at, don't they look like they're pissed at each other? It's like this one's put, you know, looking to the left and the other one's looking to the right. They got a scowl on their face. They're looking like they're not ready to go anywhere. So let's take a look at the clarifier so we can get a full view of what's going on here. Oh, well, already then. Okay, so we've got paired up with the Page of Cups. We have Temperance. So you have two healing cards, two balancing cards on the table. And that is the the star card in the reverse and, and the um, patience, the temperance card in the upright. I don't know why I didn't want to think of that word. Got a lot of pentacles here, guys. Just saying, you know, money might be looking good. Romance looks like it's kind of being manifested. Whatever this relationship is, this is there's some serious stuff going on here. We have three, four major arcanas out of eight cards. That's a half of them, right? So the Page of Cups with the Patience card tells me that a seed has been planted. Okay, if you look in the hand of this, this card in particular, you see that there is a seed in the hand of the angel, and it's... It's magical, right? It's like a magic seed. Look at the magic coming off of it. And if you look at the headdress, you will see the waxing and waning of the moon cycles. And with this white lily that is growing from the seed, that's purity. 
Okay, that's that's like a fresh new beginning. And this is a it's number 14 which breaks down to a 5 and 5 is all about change. So what I feel like is happening here is that you and the person place well person or situation that you have on your heart and mind for this reading you guys have planted seeds the seed has been planted and somebody whether it's you or your person i believe they've been getting messages you know they've been getting signs and synchronicities about this situation but at the moment, it feels kind of like juvenile, or I don't want to say juvenile as an immature, juvenile as in newborn, right? Brand new, starting all over again. So it could be somebody from your, well, actually, it pretty much is somebody from your past because the Six of Cups is here. This is a soulmate that you've never let go of. Just saying. Whether it's a dog, a cat, a brother, a sister, like I said, you set your intentions. Whoever it is, they are a true soulmate, and you miss them, and you're not willing to let it go. You've been holding on to these memories, holding on to the nostalgia, and there have been signs and synchronicities like music that you hear on the radio or old pictures coming up on your Facebook, you know, something of that nature, or just you sitting missing them and thinking about them, wondering where they're at. Or if you're in communication, you know, um, there's been a time lapse here. When the Six of Cups shows up, it's something from your past. And I feel like it's something you never truly let go of, right? That Four of Pentacles, you've got a firm foundation with this person, a firm foundation, and you're holding on. You might even be a little blocked, I'm just saying. Okay, maybe not. Some of you that applies, though, I feel it. Okay, but you guys planted this, this white lily a long time ago. And it is divine timing at work in this situation. Okay. Next, we have the star card in the reverse with the ace of pentacles twice twice guys i'm just here to tell you this is a this is a i'm hearing this is a time of healing so that something new look at again i'm just being drawn to the pictures here there's like an oak tree or an oak seed here whatever you want to call it anyhow down here and this tree has grown right and look at these big lush peaches all around spirit is telling you you know that this is coming to fruition this is coming to the the time is coming i'm hearing coming it's not quite here yet somebody in the situation's got some more healing to do or they're not doing their part in the manifestation right maybe they're too busy with work maybe that's why it's it's uh crossed with the ace of pentacles they might be uh, focusing their direct directing their thoughts or their intentions somewhere else but it's definitely here it's just not the timing hasn't happened but it's real close real close guys so you know if this if this is a person that you're trying to reconnect with or you have reconnected with and you feel free to talk and, and express yourself to this person you might want to let them know that if they want to manifest this, they got to do their side of it too. They've got to be uh, visualizing, acting as if, and then and then allowing, maybe even clearing space, right? We talked about clearing space, cleaning closets, out with the old, in with the new, that kind of thing. So this is really, really nice. I like this so far. Okay, it's still in the beginning stages. Well, I feel like it's a renewal stage. Like it's not actually the beginning. The beginning I feel has happened a long time ago, but this is like a revisit, a re reawakening of this connection. Okay. Then we've got this. Look at, I just talked about manifesting, right? I really feel like one of you is trying desperately to get these sphinxes 
on their feet and moving, okay? But there seems to be a disconnect in the manifestation on one or the other side. Somebody is, is being stubborn, okay? And the other person is like, oh, no, oh, no. I know how to manifest what I want, right? Manif I mean, the magician is, it's masculine energy. And then we've got cancer. And for me, cancer is a feminine energy. I'm a double cancer. And um, cancer is like the mama of the zodiac. They're the nurturers. And their, their intuition is pretty spot on. So if you're dealing with a cancer and they're holding back, you might want to trust that intuition. But if you're not, it, it depends on which side of the road you're on. Are you the stubborn one or are you the one trying to manifest this connection? Because you both got to get on the same page. I feel like both of you haven't let go of this situation and you are reminiscing about the good old days. And, and definitely both of you want this brand new beginning. I see it all over this reading. You want victory and success. But I feel like there's a, a stubbornness on, on somebody's side preventing this from manifesting at the moment, you know, because patience is here. But so is in victory and success. So all the energies that you need to get this thing, to get this... Uh, chariot up and moving is here. It's here. It's in your reading. It's just a matter of tweaking your manifestation. It's uh, and, and you might need to make room for it. I'm sorry to say that, but the full moon is all about releasing old energies so that you, you know, if you've got a bag and your bag is overflowing and then somebody comes along and says, Hey, I got something really, really, really spectacular to give you. But you're going to have to carry it and, and you look at your bag and you're like, damn, I have no room. So you got to prioritize. You got to go through your bag and look and see what do you really need in there? and What can you let go of that you really don't use very often or you don't need so you can make room for this manifestation? Because I'm telling you, you got two Ace of Pentacles and the victory card on the board. So, you know, turn that frown upside down, make room in your bag if this is, you know, you'll know which side of the coin you're on. And it's just a matter of divine timing. This, I don't even feel like this has anything to do with what you can do. I think you've been manifesting. I think this full moon's going to be a manifestation for you. I've got three aces on the table, or three ones on the table. Just saying. Three ones, two sixes. Yeah, that's the only repeated numbers I have here. So three ones and two sixes. And that's sixes are balance. Sixes are also karmic for me as a reader. Okay, so let's get you your moonology cards. What kind of energy are you working with here? <laughs> What did I say? What did I say? Somebody's being stubborn. Okay. Could be a Leo. It says, don't let your pride get in the way. And this says, your commitment is being tested. And this is first quarter moon. Okay. So, you know, how committed are you? Somebody's obviously committed. I feel like you both are very committed. It's just one of you is being stubborn. I don't know if something was said, if maybe there was a little falling out. Uh, but I feel like spirit is putting you through the test saying, hey, are you going to do your manifestation? Are you going to clear space? Are you going to let something go, release something to make room for this? Are you going to say your apologies? Are you going to have the conversation? Because both of you are just really thinking about each other and you're, you're unwilling to let them go and they're unwilling to let you go. And if it's not a person, if it's a situation, because you can be in a relationship with a situation, just saying, then this is something that you've been dreaming of for a long time, maybe even wished for. But for whatever reason, you're, you're not getting up and doing the work, okay? But boy, is it on the table. I'm telling you, if you just tweak 
reassess, redefine, get clear with spirit, right? Clear, clear. Don't just be like, oh, I want, uh, I want joy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what, in what area of your life, or, or if it's all areas, then you have to be specific. You got to be, I want to, I want to have joy in my home, joy in my love life, joy. You know, you got to tell spirit because what you think about and what you speak about during this full moon is pivotal. You've got to be mindful. You've got to be careful that you're not thinking about lack. Like, uh, I can't afford this. I wish I could get that. I've never been here. You can't do that during this full moon, I'm telling you, because what you think about, you will bring about. It's manifestation time, big time. And the divine is listening. The divine is listening. Okay? So what you want, you need to be focused on. You need to be thinking about what you want, daydreaming about what you want. And I'm here to tell you, if you've got any kind of brokenness that you're trying to bring to this relationship, it's not going to work. This, this uh, chariot is not going to get up and work for you because spirit doesn't reward you for misbehaving. It just doesn't. Or, or it will just, you know, kind of give you something that you really wasn't asking for because there's a lesson in there for you. That's why they call it karma. Okay, moving on. I want to give you some advice. Ooh, we have listen. And it's, it's kind of cool how this patience card is growing right over her lips as if to say, shh, time to listen and reflect. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you to listen. Yeah, I just said to be, to be more clear about your intentions. But when I say be more clear, I'm not saying that you you dictate, right? You can't hold on to the outcome. You can't say, I want a baby. And God says, okay, I'll give you a baby. But And you say, now, wait a minute. Not so fast. It's got to have blue eyes, blonde hair, and be about 6'2 when it's full grown, right? Or it's got to be a masculine or a feminine or, or, or a singer or a dancer. You don't, get, you don't get to design the outcome. You design the the you inspire the vision and spirit brings to you in the highest and best form right all right so we have not the right time and i feel that because you've got patience here and and you've got a couple of these major arcanas in the reverse but because we've got three ones on the table in the victory card i'm telling you the time is really really close really really close really close. Like I can see it here. And, and because of all the pentacles, maybe you need to focus on you and let, uh, let the manifestation uh, gestate, right? Um, there's got to be a gestation period with a baby. You got nine months. Hopefully it won't take that long. It doesn't appear to even be close to that. Like really, I'm just seeing a lot of uh, new beginnings here. So it, the timing is not exact at the moment. But I think you need to, to continue your manifestations, work on your finances, work on your business, work on your life, work on your healing, and wait for divine timing because it's coming really quick. Then we have speak up. Speak up. What is it you want? You know, here, I really see this. I see that um, with the Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, you know, this is something you guys have never let go of. And somebody, if not both of you, are really clinging tightly to this, this person or situation. But I think you need to communicate. You need to talk. We've got this uh, page of cups here. You need to talk about your feelings. Oh, look at this. Calling in your soulmate. Looks like you already have. Just saying. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations bring you together. That's more manifesting, guys. I'm telling you. It's written all over your reading here. If you want this beautiful new beginning, you've got to do the work. Then we have let go of control issues. Yeah, because when you're manifesting, you can't dictate to the 
divine higher power the outcome you all you can do is put in your order and and you know if you go to a restaurant and you order fettuccine alfredo you can't tell them what ingredients to use you might be able to tell them what ingredients you don't want put in maybe they might they might accommodate you but i doubt it usually it's like you know what if you want us to leave the chicken out or the broccoli out or whatever we can do that but the the fettuccine alfredo comes to you from the the chef right beautifully prepared and 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 from a recipe that my mama had or whatever so let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally and your last card is playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and and you know look at this just so you know these are kids right they're kids you might have met this person when you were a kid. You might have known them since you were a kid. You might have reincarnated in several lifetimes together. But whatever this soulmate connection is, it's 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 not matured yet. It's not matured yet. But I feel like you're going through an acceler accelerated growth pattern, right? Because look at the flowers growing. And it, it, it's looking pretty, pretty full, full. I don't even know how to say it. This tree the seed was planted a while ago and it's looking like it's almost ready to pick the fruit, right? Or maybe it's ready for the fruit to just fall off. That's when you're really in the zone, you know, when things just happen so naturally that you don't even have to do the work. So there is victory, there is success, there is prosperity, there is a lot of stuff going on in this table for a Thursday, right? This is just a day, not really, because time is fluid, spirit works in mysterious ways. It could be, you know, out a week or two, it could be, you know, something that started a week or two behind and now it's coming to fruition. You will know, trust me, you will know, because... Uh, your higher self has been leading you and guiding you all of this time. So don't let pride get in your way. If you guys have had a falling out, if you're not speaking, you need to reach out and have a talk. You need to play together. Keep it light. Have fun. Speak up. Calling in your soulmate. You are definitely, somebody's manifesting this. Hopefully both of you. All right, so there's a, a waiting pattern here, but I don't feel like it's long. And you need to listen to your higher guidance, which would be me and any other readers that you watch. Never give your, your power away to a reader, though. Okay, trust your own divine intuition because that is your inner compass, and it's a gift from God. And I, I want each and every one of you to utilize it. Okay, I love you guys. This has been your Thursday's daily love vibe. It looks beautiful. You got a little bit more work to do, but that's okay because look at all the ones on the table, right? All right, guys, I love you and we will see what Friday brings. Namaste.